Okay, uh, Robert here um, with the Kanabi Vertical. It's a Cajun walnut. I'm sure you saw the little, uh, little brief silent movie introduction for that piano, um, which was taken, uh, I think, two or three years ago. But uh, you can get a quick look here. It's the same piano in that video. Uh, serial number 44396. And uh, interesting little date here. I, I'm going to assume this was a tuning date, January 17, 1924. Um, but it's an upright piano. Let's step back here and take a look at it. It's an upright piano. I've started to take it apart. Um, I am going to, right now, take some hammer samples, ship them off for duplication. This piano is going to get a new finish. New set of hammers, obviously new damper felts. You can see those in need of changing. And um, action regulation. And I'm uh, going to save this uh, beautiful ivory keyboard. There's nothing wrong with it. Not a chip key at all. Excellent condition. I'm going to clean those up. But uh, in any case, I'm going to go through the process here of uh, taking samples. And if any technicians are looking at this, uh, they already know this procedure. But for for the customer that's buying this piano, I figured I'd I just go through what kind of what um, what's done when ordering hammers. And what I've chosen here for the hammer type is the Amatagawa hammer. It's a Japanese hammer, uh, a little bit brighter than the the German uh, Abo hammer, which I typically use on on uh, the vintage instruments, but with this piano, we're retaining the original strings, um, which are in pretty good shape considering um, this piano was built in the 1890s and uh, in an effort to keep the budget uh, within reason. Um, we're going to keep these strings and uh, want to replace the hammer. So to get a brighter tone, uh, I cho chose the Amatagawas, and basically here, what I'm going to do is in each section, you notice here we got three sections. You got first, second, third section. I'm going to be pulling samples, and there are a couple of ways to do this. You can either take the hammer off of the uh, shank here, and maybe even easier for me is uh, you get a view of this action in the piano. I'm going to pull this action out, and that would actually make it a little bit easier. Um, and I'll make some space here. I just finished up one project in the shop, still a little disarray. So I'm going to make some space here, and I'm going to come back with the action out. 